Blew the game right here. Right off, Son of a Assassin. Does thing have ammo in it? Sweet. World War II! Alright, shoot. Sure. I'm going to the Opera House now. Here we go. Now we're gonna be Son of a Here is your jacket. Thank you. I really like your work and introduction to the trade. That really made the Hitman contracts game. Thank you very much. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No. No, just needed something. For I've been one working the bar all day. <laughs> My knees are just killing me. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hitman contracts. Awesome, dude. I'm going back in. Bona Bona, and you are my sexy CJ Mewies for Let's Free Play Hitman 3 Blood Money on the PS2. Part number three, we beat the vineyard and SML Delgado went down and we hijacked his uh, C aircraft carrier back to the base. And now we can move on to the next mission of Hitman 3 Blood Money and it's a curtain call. I'm sure this is where the that doctor comes in from the Hitman contracts missions to go patch up 47 since he gets shot somehow during this next mission of Curtain Call or something like that. I don't remember the name of the mission really. Oh, civilians as of us who soon have heard you will grow suddenly fearful. Personal witness will think twice about being a hitman. Bro, the chief of police. I can do anything. <laughs> um, an acquire a new identity. I can just be some random uh, dude that's not a hitman. I don't want to do none of this, though. Can we just continue without bribing nobody? I don't want to do this. Okay, I don't want to select anything. What's the point anyway? I'm a silent assassin during Hitman 3 blood money missions. I load up my game. I'm sure I'm going to talk to Dick Henderson. Wait. Oh God! On newspaper, silent assassin is wanted by the police. Delgado, <laughs> Delgado, dude, you gotta check me out in the vineyard. Fernando Delgado has been uh, killed. How how is he killed though? It's, wait, the police suspect that blood money is involved. I wonder who that silent assassin man is. Yeah. We're gonna skip over the newspaper since it's blurry and a <laughs> piece of garbage anyway that we're not gonna need for anything in our game. Save progress, heck yeah, might as well, because we're beating this game. We're getting further in it. We're a little bit more hyped up and ready to go today than yesterday, so we will make this gameplay something uh, spectacular. Um, and for some reason, the game of Hitman Blood Money has evolved around Hitman standing outside a sign in Las Vegas for some reason. I don't know, progress is safe to a PS2 memory card. Uh, let's begin this. Um, Hitman 3. The mission's a little tough, but I think I can still manage to swing it around here. I'm sure Dick Henderson's on the scene. The scoop of the century is a couple of wine guys getting whacked in Chile. It wasn't the victim that caught my eye. They believe it was Mr. 17. Mr. 17. What happened? You on the floor? The ball killer clone? Come on, Jack. He just an urban legend. Even the CIA and the old FBI don't even know who he is. We say a lot of things, Dick. It's all part of the job, G-O-B-E. Delgado was a very successful man. Successful man in that part of the world tend to be well, uh, called security consoles with a base sniper rifle. Boop, 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 little mobile. Not many people could have done this thing solo, Jack. So you went running after hmm. a myth. Myth. <laughs> no. No, Mickley just caught my attention. One of her CIA friends was also intrigued. Dr. Ormeyer. The operants are tightening our security, though. Have a look on the piece of the table there. What do you mean? Hitman contracts? What are you flipping open? Uh, an invisible thing? Or is it, it see-through? What are you flipping open? The opera. March 17th, about 2004. I was cruising through a local library last night, and I found a piece of paper, and I had to go get a book. And we checked it out, and it said, Hitman Blood Money. I wonder if that doctor guy's gonna save me. Alright, science fiction. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Hitman 3. Blood Money. Yes, the goddamn book. Got both the dirt on this game. It's been a while, anyway. Alright. Now nah, I gotta go sit down at the table. Somehow he gets shot during this um, part of the game. I don't think you see it, but it happens in Hitman Contracts. Maybe it happened in Codename 47, I don't know. There's a note from Diana. The agency is back. Little cassette tape, this is awesome, dude. This is my demo. I was waiting all month to get this thing. I put this in my PDA. Computer screen, man. Look at that technology. Alright, scan me. Barcode located, Diana. Your friend, Father Victorio, is taken away by four bearded Russians in types in uniform. I can't hear Diana at all coming on this radio. That's so unfair. 
targets. We have two targets. We have um, uh, the Titans. Who lives in the uh, Breeze Opera. He believes it. He's cool, actually, for the thing. And this random dude's up in like a DJ booth with the assassinate, too. It's weird. We don't need to select any weapons either. He travels with an armed escort. Yeah, 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 Diana. He hears you. I wish I could hear you what Diana's saying because she is awesome in this game, but I can't hear anything and there's not even a dialogue thing. Curtain down, bro. Here we go. Hitman 3 Blood Money. Wish us luck coming through this mission. Richard Del Hanna and uh, Alfredo Del uh, Avalanche. He was a, a World War I uh, reenactor of the Opera House. Too bad, though, because I'm here. Whoa. This place is like tradition to the trade. Our first order of new business is to become suspicious and move to the um, security desk and go pick up our coats. I need something out of the jacket pocket. Yo, you know what's crazy? This is the same guy from um, Traditions of the Trade right here. The same voice actor. I knew it. Check it out. Listen. Enjoy your stay, sir. <laughs> ah, Mr. Mezca. Here is your jacket. Here's your jacket, sir. Boop, 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 boop. I gotta pick up a squat. What will one? Don't you want, want the jacket, sir? No, just one of the pockets. From one of the pockets. <laughs> pick it up later. I had to pick up a World War II pistol. World War One. Um. Right, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you have to wait for maintenance man or something, or you, you just head downstairs. I think we just got to head downstairs. All right, I'll see you guys in the back. I gotta go do opera stuff. Damn, 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 another burglar. I gotta go creep downstairs. This opera house. Here we go. I'm back into the game. Hitman Three. Might take me a little bit to get back into these missions, but I feel like that's gonna be part of the fun. Is trying to do this. Damn, 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 I gotta hide. And now you play the waiting game for our friend, um, Worker Man, to go bang on the wall and have him, have him take a little break. I think he just uses a syringe on him. But in this game, they added multiple syringes, like just one that just knocks out the guy, which is kind of the... That's what the original syringe was. And then they added this new poison one that... Boop, 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 boop. I had to wait for him. Oh, I blew the game right. You ever heard of Son of Assassin? Does this thing have ammo in it? Sweet. Whoa, whoa, two! Alright, shoot, sure, I'm going to the opera house now, here we go, now we're gonna be some assassin. Dang, I have to restart this whole mission, <laughs> I might as well because we're blowing it already, but hey. Enjoy your stay, so we're gonna whoa, whoa, one pistol, boom, boom, boom. I can't believe you can actually use this weapon, this thing has no bolts in it though. I don't even have a gun. Binoculars. I'm gonna shot my butt. Alright, this ain't gonna work, guys, we have to restart this whole mission to do it all over again. I know I was forgetting something, you do have to wait for the, um... I guess the construction worker, the maintenance man, to head down to the basement. Because he, he did see me, and he was not happy. He was like, who the hell are you? Who's this bald killer clone of those? It heightened our suspicions. He was in an opera house. Traditions of the trade. Here we go. I love this mission, though. It is one of the cooler missions, and since it does have some Hitman lore with it, because it is um part of the Hitman contracts, it's awesome. I'm going to talk to my boy. Talk to the receptionist. Enjoy your stay, sir. It's Mr. Mezgar. Here is your Thank you. I had to get something for the pilot. What coat is this? When does 47 have this coat? No one's seen him put this gat away either. Don't you want the Hell jacket, no. sir? No, just needed pockets. something from one of the pockets. I'm gonna Thank enjoy the know. opera now. Enjoy your stay, sir. Thank you. So I guess now we just gotta wait for these maintenance dudes to talk over, like, I guess the working plans of the day. Hey, Boris. And then, uh, there's a bathroom back there, so we can go in there. But I'm just not gonna try that. We're just gonna wait for these maintenance dudes. I guess he has to go downstairs first to be there. Maybe we just went, like, a little ahead of, um, ahead of the game a little bit. Do do do. there's so many NPCs in this Hitman, uh, Blood Money too. It's not like, um, contracts. Even, this whole game is not even Hitman. I don't even know what it is. It's just part of the, the three trilogy that I do. Of course. <laughs> and there's a lot of hit around here. Now he's gonna follow a maintenance worker downstairs. I think you can uh, pick lock into the security room too. But I think you said a pick lock and a lock. Alright, go downstairs. I wanna fiber wire this man, but you can't. You have to give him the, the regular syringe. Not the poison one, it's the normal one. <laughs> I'm a creeper downstairs. <laughs> This is epic, bro. Hit me in three. Blood money. I'm getting down there. Just wait till I get down there. <laughs> this is what the top assassin will do. All right, cool. Now he's banging on the, I guess the uh, the opera house wooden background they used to put pictures on something like that. I don't know. But this is where you got to pull your best friend and stay living. 
and he hides it behind his back too. There's a little, like a just a little tiny differences between this game and the rest of the Hitman games. I don't know, but this is the road to absolution. If you can't tell how they're upgrading the game and changing the, the basic foundations of the the Hitman series, I guess they had to. It was like, oh, we're, we're making a new game, and we have to add these new cool features in. But I prefer the old Hitman 2 Sound Assassin. And even Contracts was amazing. Like it's night and day a different, better game than this thing. There's a few missions here, but they just can't, like, they can't last with, like, the blow bomb. I'm hearing noises out front, guys. This is ridiculous, but I'm just waiting for this man. Turn around. Get away from me. I'm going in. I'm going in with the syringe, Danny. Here you go. Get injected. Burning in airplanes in the opera house. It's like, yeah, inhale that. Inhale those fumes. What happened to the anesthetic, too? I'd rather use the anesthetic here. <laughs> Help me. I don't want to pick up the hammer, dude. I don't want that weapon. How do you get his body? Why are you such a weird shoot up and boot up? <laughs> there we go. I'm the maintenance man now. I go drag bubba. Now I gotta put him in this box here, and hopefully he doesn't wake up when we're doing half this mission. Alright, get in there, maintenance man. Merry Christmas. Now I'm the new hitman. Alright, so I think we just walk into this back room here. Yeah, there's two guys um, doing what they want. What do you do here? I don't remember. Um, I think you just wait for them. Or I can just pick out the door myself and get out of here. Can I turn off the lights? That'd be awesome. Boop, 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 bye bye. It's like, what the hell's going on? I'm breaking in though. Did he see me? How do you see me? Dude, I turned off the lights, man. Who's shooting at me? Who's randomly shooting at Hitman? <gasps> There's two shots in this game, and Hitman's on the floor. Dang it, man. That's why these blood money missions take so long. <laughs> but no, there's a maintenance worker. Do you give me a break? I want my paycheck, damn it. <laughs> yes, I want to restart the game, dude. Hitman's went down. Why is it even an option for me? When he's, he's down, he got shot. Oh, Delgado. At least that airplane thing went away, though. I don't have to hear that. <laughs> I'm back to armor tradition to the train. Thank you. Go through the reception. Get, get your ass back up. I'm done with this game. Get up. I'm, I need service here now. Reception, man. Yeah, give me that damn gun. What's going on here right now? It's a rehearsal for Melanin. He's so much construction. Very busy. I'm sorry, this is not more of a lovely experience. Is this like a, he has like a different voice now? I couldn't tell. I can't hear anything when I play these games. I'm not gonna wait for Big Hammer <laughs> to go downstairs in Toolbox. Toolbox and Big Hammer. I guess we're waiting for this. But everyone's hanging out at the Opera House. Oh yeah, but that's pretty interesting that the reception dude did uh, mention that oh we're, there is a lot of construction going on in this building that's why you're not you're not gonna have the, your best time ever being here uh hey man three blood money we gotta wait i'm gonna go back to assassinating delgado that was like where i really shined now i'm just randomly playing a hitman three mission <laughs> trying to beat it this this sludge that's wrong <laughs> what the hell <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wait for a maintenance man to go downstairs. We'll get him with the syringe, take his clothes, take his hammer, and get the hell out of here. I'm going. No, 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 no. So I'm sad. Alright, I'm going down here. There's only one Hitman 3. So this is where we got the attention of Dick Henderson. He said, oh, this, no, this is really in heightened our curiosity. It's like, dude, how many times are you gonna think it's Hitman? But it's not, though. I'm a silent assassin, so there's no way you can tell that it is me. But I guess that's my, my, my trademark, is just being a silent assassin, so I, you kind of give yourself away because you're just too damn good to deadlift. Alright, anyway, to this man. I said, damn, take a little break. And then we'll just give him, give him his own barcode stamp on the back of his head. And we're moving out. We're beating this um, opera house mission. For some reason, it says, wait for the guards in that room. And there's a way of vaccine. Oh, okay, that's where you place the bomb on top of that winch. And that's what stinks about these, these, this Hitman game, is everything, oh, it's an accident now. It has nothing to do with being a silent assassin. It says, oh, it was an accident. We, we winched them. <laughs> We're getting more more money to go spend on our Hitman gear. We're, you know, that's important to us. It's like, dude, just give me the silent assassin and the fiber wire. That's all I ever wanted in this game. But hey, you gotta get with the times. No, I don't. <laughs> 
Hurry up and sit down so I can give you this big syringe now. I've been waiting all day for this game. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. This is the last time you ever sit down, dude. Oh, bam, I'm jacked with this thing. I gotta be a maintenance worker right now, dude. Yeah. Take that, Delgado. Where's your big violin? And we can see him boot up. <laughs> Grab his foot. So I'm picking up the hammer. Why does Hitman 3 do this? There we go. Drag bubble. Here we go. All right, bring him to the box. Since we gotta do this in Hitman 3, it's like the coolest thing, right? Oh, we don't know where he went. It's, it's, he's hidden now. So we have a better chance of being in this game. I'm right, out here. Right, where's that one guard that was here? Right, I'm going to pick out the door again because there's no, there's no dude there. Brr, I'm busting in now. There we go, Hitman 3. I'm allowed to be back here though, so what's the what's the deal here? I, I don't really know. It's like I'm allowed to. They just see you pick lock in the door and they get scared. And it's like, that's kind of um, understandable. I think you just go upstairs now. Because half this game is doing this, and then we're here. But I'm a maintenance worker. I'm allowed to be here. The opera! Oh, man, this opera lady's going to be cranking in our eardrum for like the next 30 minutes. So I have to lower it here. I think you have to go through one of these doors. Yeah, okay. It's, it's upstairs. So you're supposed to grab a key card here, too. But I, 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 mean, I saved that for later on in the game. And, and not when I'm doing this. Sometimes if you get lucky, there'll be a guard up here. There, there won't be a guard. I think what we need to do is wait for this maintenance man, dude, to leave. The opera, bram! It's a rehearsal going down, and that's why you gotta go change up that World War Three pistol. Yeah, but there's a there's an opera lady singing in the background, so I have to lower that. Apparently, it's just loud and it's like music. I don't think there's nothing to worry about. Where's maintenance man? I think that's what you're supposed to do here. I think we might be a little ahead of schedule. The opera, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Oh, back in my booth. Dude, are you, you going to come out here and do something? And how's Hitman like a little... Oh, there he is. I think he needs to be out the room for us to plant this thing. Hitman 3. Blood money, dude. Bye-bye. I'm a maintenance worker. And you go back here and you place a bomb on the wench. And you got wenched. I are beating the game. You know, accidents only. <laughs> you know, no fiber wire. Where the heck? I didn't know if this was a way to go down. Uh, back down the stairs now. Right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see here before we go any further here. But mom, uh, now we just gotta go hide and wait for this dude. Where it makes sense in the game. Is this the star power? Yeah, this is like where where our captain is. Go here, hide. And now we play the waiting game. I think that's how we do it. Yep, hide in the closet. Then then you would switch out his. Um, fake World War One pistol for a real World War One pistol. When the, the main star target dude goes to the bathroom, and if you look on the, the screen, it says NES right there. So awesome stuff. Whew, beating this game. A little bit of trouble in the beginning, but that was just me not knowing what to do. It, you sort of kind of remember this. It, it comes back to you after a while. World War One pistol. Why do they keep rehearsing this scene though? That's the one thing that gets me. It's like the time we're waiting for all. Oh, he's still even he's even out there. He's not even in his dressing room. So we're gonna be here for a while, guys. Well, there he is, World War One pistol. And we have to assassinate two dudes. This mission's not bad. It's it's one of, it's easy. It's a beautiful show. Somebody give me popcorn. We need more uh, hit and three. The next mission is kind of annoying though. It's like running through. We get to see Agent Daniels. No, we get to see Agent Smith back in there. Oh boy, I'm just trying to beat this mission so we can have stuff to edit and, you know, be Hitman 3. As soon as he gets up, oh, now he's walking, dude. He might go to his uh, dressing room here and he'll drop his World War 1 pistol and we'll hide out the closet. <laughs> like, what if he went in here to check on, like, his replica World War 1 <laughs> shirts? Who the heck knows? We would have been busted by this Hassan Assassin video game. At least that operates, that's what I mean. And somewhere after this, we have to go and find a key card, I think. And then we just had a main lobby DJ booth, a whole bunch of things. Alright, pay attention to this. Am, am I in the wrong room? Oh no, I'm not! I'm sorry! Oh, I blew my own game. I didn't know. It, it didn't even look like he was in here, bro. No, why are you gonna call the police on me? I'm just a maintenance worker. Whoa, whoa, one pistol. Boom, boom, security. I don't know who did that. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm missing 17. 17, you hear? What happened on the floor? This 
gun stinks. There you go. I don't know what happened there. Could have been a maintenance man down the lane. Goddamn World War II pistol. Alright boys, we're restarting over again because now I have to. This takes so long. I shouldn't have gotten out the I didn't know. I didn't see him in there. It looked like he was in the other dressing room. Shouldn't have second guessed what, what we were doing. We should have just went and did it. But we're having fun hanging out with the boys. <laughs> So I guess that's what counts here. Here we go. Traditions of the trade. Our favorite hitman mission. All right. Well, we'll have to go kill time too. So barcode located. He's on the premises now. We found him. Talk to Mr. Mesgar. Boop, boop, key. I found this suit for you, sir. Here is your Thank jacket, you. sir. I really like your work in Traditions of the Trade. That really made the hitman contract stand. Thank you very much. Don't you want the no. jacket, sir? No, just I've been working the bar the all day. My knees are just killing me. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hitman contrast. Awesome, dude. That'd be amazing. <laughs> You're just amazing, right? Uh, <laughs> I've been working the bar all day. Who's the one to sit down? <laughs> oh, there's maintenance. I'm having too much fun <laughs> talking about traditions of the trade compared to this, <laughs> this crappy mission. I'm going in. Damn it, burglar down the stairs with Brown. I'm gonna do my signature dive. There we go. There's that that's 47 signature creep. You guys remember that in, in contracts? You remember that in Silent Assassin 2? <laughs> Gameplay rules. Somehow we got lucky too, and then not have that one dude see me when I pick lock the door. Even though I'm a maintenance man, I'm supposed to be back there. But it's locked for a reason, but once you go past that lock, you're fined. I don't know, man. It just hit me in blood when it just... It, ne it just never sits with me right. But it is a game that I'll make an exception for. That's why I'm, I don't want to play Absolution. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I need to look into Absolution more. Maybe I will love it. But to me, it says him jumping and diving, and, and he, oh, he, he's climbing up a pipe. <laughs> and this is this too much for me. It's it just too much. Oh, he can change into the suit instantly. I just can't do it, man. I don't know. Who knows? This is how I feel about it. I don't know. This is something. Well, you know, 20 minutes, you didn't even beat this mission. But you beat Delgado in 10 minutes when you first started. I won't worry. I would have won this game. If I didn't get out the closet quick enough, that's uh, well. I gotta stay live. I just to take the sausage now. I'm getting jacked with this thing. Injected. Injected. Where's Freya seven get all these syringes from? <laughs> I'm a doctor. Shoot up and boot up. Um, work hammer man. And in some magical way, find Hitman 3's blood money of dragging a body. Here we go, big foot. Uh, let's bring Bubba in here. Phew, thank god they did not have this ability in Manhunt. <laughs> That's one thing I, I don't want. I'll have to go here quick. I think we're like ahead of things. No one's even down here looking at me, so I'm just pick locking the door and I'm getting in. Thank you very much, I have secured clearance to be in here now. And look, now I'm not suspicious at all. Like my, my bar is not even green. So what does that mean in, in Hitman uh, Blood Money? I don't know, I have to go upstairs though, go to an opera house. Uh, this mission is not as hard as it, as it looks. It's, it's really simple, honestly. I just take too long. Damn the opera! The opera! I think I have to go into the office up there eventually. But we might be um, a little fast on our on our movement. Since we have to wait on top for this one dude. And then watch the play four more times. And then go up there, assassinate him in a DJ booth. Oh, maintenance man's out there working. So maybe he's not in here. Cool, he's not in here, so we have plenty of time to run down here and place a bomb on a wench. Here you go. Cool. Did he see me? No, he barely did not see me. Oh, let's just run downstairs. That's what's so crazy about this. It's just, you can just run anywhere during Blood Money. It's like, dude, if you tried this in Silent Assassin, they would shoot you a mile away. They'd be like, dude, that's suspicious. So you had to really look where you were running. I'm like, this game is just, alright, just run around and, you know, beat this game and then go into the opera house and you walk right in here and hide in the closet somewhere and no one's gonna know it's you. So I think we have to really pay attention to what's going on here and somewhat turn down this opera music too. Like, bram, bram. Uh, dude, I'm not playing Mafia. Bram a shot. Whoa, 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 I'm pissed. <laughs> That's all I know in this game. Bram, bram. We'll see if we can beat this. Um, Not today though. <laughs> we'll see. We're just taking it one level by one level and then we'll really... um. 
Who knows? I just kind of wanted to beat this game so we can start playing a different game. Thank God the music turned off. Burping. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I guess we're just going to wait for this dude, I guess, to come in here. We have to pay attention to this door. Because the guy's going to walk in, place his um, prop on the on like, the desk. That's when we'll just go around the back and I guess wait for him to go to a, like a bathroom or something somewhere. Yeah, his background noise is going on right now, but that is just me being me. Don't worry about Hitman 3. Can we go back to Delgado? I was on fire during that last 10 minutes of Delgado. <laughs> uh, the Opera House. But this mission does have Hitman like lore to it. Since somehow he does get shot by some, I guess, sniper. I think a police captain gets him. I don't know. Something like that. And then they hire the doctor and he's remembering all this stuff when he gets shot at the opera house. But then he just moves on to the next mission like it's no one's business. And he's like, I'm done with Hitman contracts. I don't know. Something very strange about this game, my major. Yeah, we've been hanging out here too long. But that's what half this mission is, is we're gonna go sit in the closet and wait. <laughs> whoa, whoa, one pistol. And I just wanna know why they keep reenacting this scene, though. Like, there's only so many times you can <laughs> try to do that scene. Like, well, what's the point here? I don't know. <laughs> Something about, um... What's that? What's his name? Delgado. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this play is my favorite game in the game. Alright, I sit down. I don't know. I don't, I don't I don't know how I feel about blood money. Oh well, I guess I told you. <laughs> but I don't know. Is is it kid is they still kept the same type of formula for the Hitman game. But you can just tell how much it's like it's changing from this game on. And did it change in the right direction? Probably not. Did they have no choice but to go in that direction? Probably so. Cause I don't know. Are you are you happy and, and proud to play Hitman Three Blood Money? I don't know. Un unlike the contracts in Silent Assassin, where it's like we're there. This is I'm so happy about that. This game is just like um yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe people love Hitman Three. I don't know. Maybe it's good for Mister Seventeen stuff. I don't know. Where are you going? Hmm, I left my mustache back in the dressing room. <laughs> We're just waiting at this opera house thing just to beat this game. I just want to beat this level, dude. I just want to go to the next level so we can have more material to work with here. I think I'm a little bit of one captain now, and I will rule. I ain't gonna practice for my shot. Wow. Oh, that's why, because this guy's not even the target. He's just like some random, I'm gonna practice, and you, go, you can see me there in this little closet. So he's not even the target, he's just the guy who shoots the target. I don't know, something about play acting and something, I don't know. I'll take a dump right now. Enjoy your stay, sir. I'm the hitman maintenance guy. I'm going in. Prop World War One pistol. Put down, um... Wait, put down a real one, dude. What are you doing? Do we go back in here and hide? I don't know. Hide in closet place. Go. Yeah, you do. You hide back in here. Even though he moved it on the table, he's gonna realize that. Hey, I didn't put that there. I put it slightly to the left. That's weird. I don't know. Do we mess the silent assassin up? Will he check the closet now that he sees the the gun changed? Imagine that. That'd be awesome if they tried that. I am sitting in a closet. This is boring. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, one. All right, goodbye, sir. Like, I'm not the movie star. All right, now, for some reason, you have to go and find a key card. I don't really remember where it is. Is it in this door? No, wait, no, that's not that. I think it's somewhere. Nope, that's not it either. That's a bathroom. I could have sworn um, to get the key card, it was, like, in this room. For some reason, I don't know though. I know the star's room. 
Star's room. Yeah, where's that key card place? Pause the game real quick. Like I'm wasting time thinking that. This is weird though. And then you would find the key card. But it's like in this computer office desk thing. There's only bathrooms though. And those are like the star's rooms. I could have sworn the key cards you just go in here and there's the key card. But I don't know. Maybe you have to go up another flight of stairs or something. We have to get there quick though. Is this the room? This doesn't look like the room though. What the hell is going on in this game? Why can't I find the key card, bro? Come on with this game, man. Oh. What's up here? Is this, is this the room? Maybe I need to go up another set of floors. Here we go. That's what this game is. This game sometimes, I swear. That's the key card room, I think. I think it's in here. Yeah. You guys don't need that, do you? Sweet, I think we did it. Alright, boys, thank God. <laughs> thank God, I forgot what we had to do. Sometimes you get confused. I thought it was on that same floor, but I guess not. Alright, down the hallway I go. Because I need to go uh, change to my suit now again. This is the maintenance room. Here we go. And you kind of have to do this like, in a time limit somewhat. Since that one guard dude would wake up and finally hear this Boris. But now I can go through here because this is not pig locked. And no one will know the difference. Everyone's on their lunch break. Shut that door. I can change to my shoot woman. I'm a hitman now. Sweet, now let's go enjoy the opera show. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So enjoy your stay. So I think you have to go to like the, the top floor. In, in this level. I don't know if you have to go up two floors. I think you might have to go up two floors. Or maybe this is just one floor. Yeah, Danny and Aunt Boris. And you go over here, use his security card. Whoop, 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 man. I've got uh, entrance for you here. Close the door, and now we can just enjoy the show, Major. And this week, we get to pull that detonator, Hans. Now we can beat Hitman 3 Blood Money. So, what you're waiting to happen is this guy will get shot with the real World War 1 pistol. <laughs> And then the other target will see that, oh my god, an assassination attempt, and he'll run down these stairs, but then he'll trip halfway through this big chandelier, and that's what I put that big wench on. So we can just detonate this man from here. Let's enjoy the opera show, though. And then after that, we just escape out the front door, tradition to the trade style, we beat this mission. Hitman blood money. I wish there was more fiber wire instances. It's just more of everything's an accident. Brent Brown compared to being a silent assassin. This is really silent assassin. He's just detonating a whole bunch of like, explosions. I don't know. We're just waiting for the acting to begin. Who's singing Hitman 3? He's like, Hitman 3, blood money. No! I've been Hitman 3, and I really have been. I dropped my floor. What was that? Laser attempt? What's going on here? They're like, what happened to him? I don't know. Pretty, pretty controversial, dangerous stuff here going on. So it is kind of scary. It's weird. But besides all that, we're just uh, Hitman 3 with a detonator, Hans. And eventually, this guy starts freaking out. He's trying to like look over more. Because as soon as he falls, I think that's when you have to detonate the uh, explosions. And you really can't be talking too much when you're doing this. Holy crap, what happened to him? Holy sh- I gotta go. I gotta go. They ever pulled their gats. <laughs> Why, though? And it's like, they, how would they know? Okay, one dude's running. Civilians, get out the damn way, because I don't want you part of my, um, explosion thing. Oh, I tripped. You ever heard of a detonator, Hans? Boom. Bye-bye. You better not have took out that random person, either, because that'd be ridiculous, and it's not my fault if I don't get Hans Hassan. Holy crap. Why was security Boris right there? Either way, if I don't get Silent Assassin, I don't care. Because this is blood money and I'm done with this game anyway. We took too long playing this one level. I'm out. See you later. Enjoy the show, sir. I have to do an escape. It's like, of course I want to escape. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> and then Patty. And I have time to go. It's like March 13th that night. I'm going down here. 
is Maastricht. The Pelly, police captain. Hello. And he got silent assassin or something. I don't know. Was that St. Jose Journal? Ring, 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 ring. One witness is that's ridiculous. Why though? Four accidents, one witness. How? I guess that security guard seen me there. So unfair. Yeah, come on, bro. That's BS. It's like that security dude was there. That's the only reason why we didn't get silent assassins. Screw you, game. <laughs> Screw you, game. I guess you gotta wait. <laughs> do I really wanna hop back in there and sit in the closet and do all that and show off that? No. We already beat this game. Screw this game. Bona bona. Goose cabooses. Love you guys so much. The best Jamie movies ever. I just wanna hug your face. Even if you're not Jamie, we have to love you. Deuces cabooses. Knights of the Round Table. Chitty, 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 bye. Yeah. Meet me.